Hi, this is Dr. Reveles, and I'm going to show you in this video how to make a BBA form to calculate the volume and area of both a cone and a cube. I'm providing a file that you can download in the description, which does the calculation for a sphere and a cylinder. So in this file, it's an Excel macros enable file. If I click here, it will open up a form in which the user can enter the radius and the height and by clicking, it will calculate the sphere, volume, and surface area, and volume and surface area of a cylinder. So this is already there. But what I am asking you to do is to make a copy of this form, modify it, and make it work now for a cone and a cube. So if I go to developer, Visual Basic, I can see that here is my form. So I need to make a copy of this form. To do that, what I need to do first is to make an auxiliary file. I'm going to make a new file, and that will be saved as a macros enabled file. I can just save it uh, here as a macros enabled file. Then I go to developer, Visual Basic, and I have two files. I have the file I'm working with and uh, my auxiliary file. So here in the form, I'm going to drag the form into my auxiliary file and I'm going to rename it. And my form now will be called cone. And I will drag it back to my original file. So I have a copy already. At this point, I can close my auxiliary file and save it. And here I have a copy of the form. It's the one I will be working with. Developer, Visual Basic, so Concube. Concube, developer, Visual Basic, Concube. So here we are. So first I want to modify this. Uh, I'm going to calculate for a cone here on the left and for a cube on the right. For a cone, I need two variables, which is radius and height. I can use this text boxes. And for a cube, I will have a variable, only one variable, which is going to be side. Side. So I can copy this text box, copy, paste, drag it here. That would be also in meters. Copy, paste, meters. So I have three text boxes where the user will input. This text box is called radius one. This text box is called height one. Here is the name of the text box. And this text box, I'm going to call it side one. Now I want to change the pictures because now I'm doing for a cone and a cube. Click here. So here I see the properties of my uh, picture. And here in picture, I'm going to substitute by another picture, which is in this case is of a cone. Same here, click here, activate the properties of this picture, go here to picture, and then substitute by a picture of a cube. Okay, so far so good, let's save it. Now we're going to start adding the calculation because again, we have different formulas. So let's close this for a moment. So here I provide the formulas or the volume and area of both a cube and a cone in a cube. So let's see the code. Let's go to developer, Visual Basic. Here is uh, my form. Right click and click here. So let's see the code. So we have now different variables. So let's start defining the variables for our problem. And I'm going to copy here the variables. It will be the variables for our problem. Volume of the cone, volume, volume cone, volume cone, area cone, volume cube, area cube, and you have radius, height, and size. So that's are the variables. Next, I need to gather the information from the form, at least from the form. So I'm going to use these instructions. Radius variable will be radius one, 
remember this is what I have in my text box. If I go here, this text box is called radius one. So whatever the user enters here, that will be now view code assigned to the variable radius. And if you see, um, let me go again to my form. Radius one, yeah, radius one, starting with capital, high one, inside one, starting with capital. So let's go back here, view code. So it'll be radius one, value is to radius, high one value to height, side one value to size. So I'm gathering the information, the input from the form. Now I'm going to do the calculations. The calculations for the volume, area, of both cone and cube. I did provide, as I said earlier, I did provide the formulas here pi r squared h over three and so on. So I'm going to copy these formulas here. Developer, Visual Basic. And I'm going to copy formulas here. So you will be typing these formulas. Uh, volume, volume, cone. Okay, let's see, volume, basically volume. Cone. Will be pi r squared times h height over three. Notice that I need to use all these to uh, call pi, this 3.14. This is how we call pi in visual uh, basic VBA. The volume of the cube is side to the cube and the formula for the area is here. The formula for the area of the uh, cube is six, six times the side uh, square. So now we're done. We, we did the calculation, but well, before we finish, of course, you do output these results into the form. I'm going to output the results here into the boxes that will have the answers. Okay, again, if we go to the form, the boxes is called, this is called, um, actually I need to rename this, it will be volume cone one. This box will be called area cone one. This box will be volume one. And this box will be area cube one. So we need to know the names of the boxes because we will be writing the answers into these boxes. Okay, again, let's go to the code, right click, view code. So we are ready to enter the answers here. Let's see, um, I think we have volume con one value in that text box. We're going to enter this variable, which we just calculated volume cone. And here is just given a nice format, even like uh, three decimal places. Actually, let's do two decimal places. So you can give format to your, uh, to your answers. And that's it, that's all what we need to do. Let's save it, uh, go to the form. And then we can run the form from here. Let's enter uh, some random numbers here. You'll see it works. And those are the answers. Okay, click here. The last thing I want to do, instead of go here, so to run the form, I need to go to developer, Visual Basic, find my form, run it from here, right? Well, I don't want to do that. I want to add a button here. So I'm going to hit developer, insert bottom, and I'm going to call, let's say cancel for now, call this show own cube form. So when I click here, it will show the form. Then click on, the, on this developer view code. This is the code for this. And when I click this, I want to show this cone cube show. That's the name of my form, cone cube show, save it. This cone, this is the name I give you the form here. So close it. Now I can click here and it will call my form. and get the answers here. So now we have two forms. One for sphere cylinder, which will come already with uh, the assignment, comes with assignment. And the new one we just did it here uh, for cone cube. Okay, 
Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have questions.